Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Clearly, we have to take the measures that are necessary to combat the virus, and we have, across South Yorkshire, tried to work together on them. But the Minister knows that this deal doesn't meet all the concerns of local leaders, nor does it provide the support that businesses need. The ban on household mixing is clearly necessary, but it makes many cafes, restaurants and pubs with food unviable. It impacts on the music, events and creative sectors. But because they're not being required to close, they won't get the support that they need. They are simply being hung out to dry. So will the government think again and provide the support that these businesses need to save thousands of jobs across South Yorkshire? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Um, again, I'm grateful to the Honourable Gentleman. He is always diligent and measured in representing his constituents and his businesses in this House. Um, the deal that has been reached here, I believe, is both fair and proportionate um, and reflective of that fairness across other areas, again, which are in Tier 3. And, of course, that should be taken in the context of being coupled with the broader national programme. Um, I wouldn't characterise the approach being taken towards hospitality in the way that he did. Um, I would pay tribute, actually, to our hospitality industry in this country, which I think is what he was, which is, I think is what he was seeking to do, which I, think is, which I think is what he was seeking to do. And, as I say, the support package is there to support businesses across all sectors in this country. Lots